So this is going to be 2.3.1 systems of equations. All right, so let's see here. The first example we're going to do for this one, I want to find the solution for if you have x plus y equals negative 2 and y is equal to x squared minus 4. Okay. First thing you should notice on this is there should be at least two solutions. Okay. There should be at least two solutions, including multiplicity. So if there is a multiplicity on this, it would still count as two, even if it's the same solution. Okay, this one does have two separate ones, though. This is what you should do. This Y right here, replace it with this Y here. That's what you were saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you do that, it ends up being a lot easier. So this top part ends up being x plus that y, which is just going to be x squared minus 4, uh, equals negative 2. All right, so then you have an equation like this. Okay, if you notice, it looks just like the equations we were already doing, only it's easier because it's x squared. We were just doing one that had x to the fourth in it. We've done stuff with x to the third. I am not going to go that crazy on these. It's always just going to be x squared. Okay, it'll be a linear one, and then it'll be a quadratic one every single time. Okay, We just need to solve all this. So that's what we're going to do now. Anytime you see a quadratic function like this, quadratic equation, what you're going to want to do is make it equal to zero so you can use quadratic formula. Okay? So if you like steps, the red step was substitute and actually substitute correctly. Okay? Step one is substitute. Step two is set the quadratic formula equal to zero, the quadratic equation equal to zero. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add the two over to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put something like this. Cancel, cancel, so you're left with zero here. Okay, now here there's a lot to simplify, so let's do um, negative two, negative four plus two is negative two. So you're going to end up with x squared plus x minus two is equal to zero. You notice we're going to have two answers for this. And let's use quadratic formula. So we have x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac these. And we're dividing this all by 2a, which is 2 times 1. Okay, plus, plus, this ends up being, oh, sweet, it's 9. Okay, cool. So it ends up being x is equal to negative plus or minus the square root of 9 over 2, which is equal to, so this is 3. So it's going to be negative 1 plus 3, which is 2 over 2, and negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4 over 2. So you have your two answers right there. X is equal to 1, and X is equal to negative 2. But you also need the Y value. Okay, so you need it. This needs to be as an ordered pair. So the X is 1 for one of them and negative 2 for the other. You just need to figure out the Y for each of these. And what's great is we have a Y equation right here. So we square the 1, it's 1 minus 3 is negative, or minus 4 is negative 3. Plug in a negative 2 in there, negative 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, and then you have both answers right there, boom. So what you can do, you should be able to do, is plug in both of those ordered pairs into both of those equations, and you should get the same answer for each of them. Or it should be true, I should say. So that first one... If you plug in 1 plus negative 3, is this equal to negative 2 for this top one? It is. So I'm going to put a check there. 
Um, if you put the, the other one, the negative two plus zero, is that equal to negative two? Yes. So you put both of them in the first one, it works out. Put both of them in the second one, it should also work out as well. I'm not gonna waste too much time on that because it's just checking your work. All right, here's number two. Uh, try to solve that out. So first thing I did, let's kind of go over this now. Uh, first thing I did was I substituted the Y in. So I put a four minus X in there for that Y right away. And then it was four minus X minus two. So I did the four minus two to get the two and it's two minus X squared. So I, I wrote in the green right here, two minus X squared. Um, that X plus three quantity squared, I expanded that out right here in the orange. That's what this is right here. If you grid it out, you should get that. Um, then what I did was I gridded out this two minus X squared over here. Again, when in doubt, grid it out. If you can't do it in your head. Um, that's what I wrote in the purple right here. And then I simplified everything. The X squared and X squared were two X squared. Six X and negative four X is two X. 9 plus 4 is 13 equals 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. That becomes a 3. And then the last thing is just it's quadratic formula. So you just use that, and that's what you end up getting there. You do have to break down the square root of 20, though, because there's a perfect square in there with 4. So I'm going to put a 0 back in here. But what you can do is substitute wherever there's an x, substitute it with a negative 2y. So X, X, there we go.
Ozarka, can I point out your error? 